Hello and welcome to another House of Wisdom video and today we're going to be talking about how to get your knives home if you fly into Blade Show in Atlanta. Uh, so you've gone to Atlanta to Blade Show 2018, you bought your grail knife, but you have to fly home. How are you going to get your knife home? The TSA is funny. They don't like you carrying weapons as a carry-on in your carry-ons, so they make you check them. Last year when I went to Blade, I bought 16 knives and I, I made a video, Blade Show 2017 Scores, and on the end notes I'll post it so that you can watch that. But I had a lot of knives to get home. Last year I drove and so it was relatively easy. This year I'm going to fly and it's a little more difficult. Like I just kept going by tables. I went by Clyde Chalinor's table and he had a talon out there and fiber, carbon fiber and I said... Oh, I've just got to have that one. And then I went by the millet booth and they had their Pachanko Hawk Orbit with that cool Pachanko cleaver style blade and the Hawk locks, kind of like a Axis lock, except a lot of different. And I said, boy, I just, these are made in limited quantities. I got to get one of those. And then there was the Brian Nadal Mini Typhoon and it has these fenestrations and the cool mint colored backspacer and the distinctive pocket clip that doesn't, isn't held on by screws it's just sandwiched between the back spacer and the handle of the knife and so anyway one thing led to another and I walked away with 16 knives and now that I'm going by plane this year because I didn't feel up for driving it's going to be a little more logistically difficult to get these back home so the question I'm asking and the one we're going to discuss today is what's the best way to get them back you can check them in the airlines however I always try with travel just to carry on it, unless you fly an airline like Southwest, which doesn't charge for batters, bags, most of the mainline airlines uh, charge you for bags. For example, I'm flying an American, and they charge $25 for the first bag. So it would cost me $25 to get these guys back whenever I bring them back. The U.S. Postal Service, you can use them too. And either way you choose, it could be lost or it could be stolen. Sometimes it seems like there's a competition between incompetence and corruption with both institutions. And I don't know if the airlines or the Postal Service is winning this competition, but I want to tell you a story. I once had a friend who flew and was naive enough to place thousands of dollars in $100 bills into a checked bag. And when he arrived at his destination, surprise, all the money was taken out of his bag. And the thing you have to realize is the airline baggage scanners with their x-ray machines can see everything inside your bag in great detail. Now, 99% of these people are honest, but there's that 1% that are dishonest. They are very active, and they steal things out of your luggage. Luggage is routinely opened by the baggage screener. I mean, it's their job. They're there to check things out. So the dishonest ones, it's not unusual for them to open your bag whenever they see something of value and try to steal it. When something is stolen from your luggage, you can go complain to the airlines, but no reimbursement will be offered. Trust me on this. So I'm going to talk to you about my experience. I really never travel with check bags because... They're lost so frequently and stuff is stolen out of them. I only fly with carry-ons. Even if I'm going for a week, I've learned to live simply. And I can carry a week worth of stuff in my carry-on. And even if I'm staying a month and I'm traveling internationally, I pack for a week and then I'll launder my clothes every week. It's not a big deal. Uh, I've used the postal service several times. I belong to a pass-around group. And we get knives, and then one guy will send it to the second guy, who sends it to the third guy, who sends it to the fourth guy. And I've used uh, the trackable uh, post office flat rate boxes and flat rate envelopes and have had great success with this. I've never had anything stolen, and they give you a receipt so that you can track it. So I've had good experience with it. So here's my plan, guys. I'm getting a priority U.S. Postal Service envelope. And inside, I'll be packing the knives in a priority mailbox. Ironically, the box costs more to ship than the envelope. But look, 
I can get this box and it fits nicely inside the envelope so you have the added protection of a rigid cardboard box inside the cheaper envelope and it really isn't a pro problem. I also bring extra packing material like this because I might not be able to get the uh, the covers, the pouches that they go in. So if I can't, I have some extra packing material like this. It's kind of a foam thing. You can bring bubble wrap too. Uh, but anyway, that's what I have planned. And I prepay for the uh, envelope in my hometown. As you can see, I have a sticker on here that has a tracking number. In addition to the tracking number, they also give you a receipt which has the same tracking number on your receipt. And you can go online at the U.S. Postal Service website and you can track your bag. So you can buy this in your hometown and then save your tracking number on the receipt and you can track it wherever it goes and you can mail it in Atlanta. That's not a problem. What is a problem is, is you have to do this before you go. Well, I guess you could do it Friday or Saturday if you guys haven't done this, so uh, you can do it. But the problem is, is that you have to mail it on Sunday, and the post office is closed on Sunday. It's not a problem. You get your knives, you put them in this guy, you seal it up, and you bring extra tape, and you tape it so well that it could never open. And then... Uh, you drop it in any post office box and it'll make its way home and you can track it with your tracking number all the way home. So anyway, that's my plan in summary. I get a priority mail flat rate envelope. I put a box inside with extra packing material. I save my receipt with a tracking number. So I'm interested in the comments section. I want to hear from you guys how you guys are getting your knives home whenever you go to Blade if you do air travel. And I know that a lot of the guys from the West Coast, like California and Utah, you guys are going to be flying. You're not going to be driving. So let me know how you're approaching the problem, if you have any better ideas. And that's the video for today. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you on the next House of Wisdom knife review video.